I'm a bit of a salty bitch in this video. So if you don't like politics or you don't like people getting aggravated, don't watch the video. Ah! We fucked up. America, you fucked up. This election is fucked. We had fucking Bernie Sanders, who is the most liked politician this year. And we have Hillary Clinton and Donald Trump as our two general election candidates. The two most disliked candidates in general election history. We had fucking Bernie Sanders. He was more popular than Donald Trump in the primaries. Seriously, go look back at the polls. Hillary is up about five or six points. Bernie was up by like fucking 12 points. And then us that fucked up. It's the DNC that done fucked up. Congratulations, DNC. You chose the worst general election candidate you could have ever chosen. Which, and by turn, you, the RNC also chose the worst candidate ever. Anything that ever happened in this election, entirely our fault. We chose to have the most corrupt candidate ever. We chose to have one of the most corrupt candidates ever for the Democrats. And the most retarded candidate for the fucking Republicans. I'm gonna build a wall. It'll be a great wall. It's a tremendous wall. You won't believe how tremendous it will be. I don't under- you don't understand- I want you to shove forks in my eyes! Okay, I'm calm. I'm cool. <sighs> Monday night was the first ever general election presidential debate for 2016. No, I knew Donald Trump was bad, but- oh, Jesus. You know, like, how whenever elementary kids are arguing with each other, they're like, No, I'm right. No, I'm right. You're wrong. I'm right. This is exactly what this was like. Now, I can't provide footage because it's like an hour and a half fucking debate and that will never download on my internet. However, let me, I'll just kind of tell you what happened, if, even though most people watched it. For four straight minutes, Trump interrupted Hillary when she was trying to prove a point. Four minutes. You know, she's over here going, he, meanwhile, Trump, when we last saw your tax returns, we saw that you barely paid anything, if not anything at all, in taxes. And he's just sitting there, that makes me smart. That makes you a fucking criminal! It not it, like, illegal not to pay your taxes? Oh, I'm sorry, right? It's only if you're middle class. If you're rich or... If you're rich, oh, you're fine, you know, you're good. But if you're in a lower middle class and you can't pay your taxes, like, uh, like a few days like, Oh, shame on you. We gotta jail you, dude. I'm sorry, man. It, it's the law. It's the law. We gotta jail you. And then Hillary's saying, Oh, yeah, Donald, you also supported the Iraq War. No, I didn't. Bitch! You supported the Iraq War! There's video of you supporting the Iraq War. Here, I'll download that. Yeah, I'll fucking download it. Anyway, uh, here's footage of Trump supporting the Iraq War. Iraq? Yeah, I guess so. Uh, you know, I wish it was, I, I wish the first time it was done correctly. Oh, yeah, and then he didn't. And he said he doesn't support it all the way up until the general election. Hmm. Something smells funky. Oh yes, M remember back in the primary, we're gonna build a wall by Mexico, we're gonna make Mexico pay for it. It will be a tremendous wall. This tremendous wall will keep all the Mexicans out. Yeah, uh, I didn't hear anything about the wall in the debate. Nothing. I'm, I'm pretty sure they talked about foreign policy, and, and if they did, I heard nothing about the fucking wall. Remember also the Muslims, we will ban the entrance of Muslims, you gotta say how he says it, of Muslims. Entering the United States of America. Uh, I didn't hear anything about that either. Yeah, shocking, isn't it? You know, this is what we like to call, uh, I don't know, flip flopping. And, oh, here's the thing. I'm gonna get to Hillary in a second. Oh, here's the thing. Here's the, here's the nail in the coffin. So there's this thing called stop and frisk. It's where the cop, it's where the cops can, well, stop and frisk you at any time. They think you're suspicious. Now, would that work? Yeah, except it goes against the Constitution. It's against the Fourth Amendment, I think. They cannot, like, police have to have a warrant to search you. Anyway, I don't even think Trump's ever read the damn Constitution. You know, it's kind of bad when you're like, oh yeah, Trump, he's gonna, he's gonna, he's gonna take out the illegal immigrants. Yeah, Muslims aren't gonna come here anymore. Yeah, fuck them Muslim, bitch. Oh yeah, and then when it comes to general election, you know, uh, I think uh, we... You know, the Muslim ban won't be permanent. He said that too. He said the Muslim ban wouldn't be permanent. It would be for a very short time. Until they figure out what's going on. 
Oh yeah, there's nothing he said that they would do to figure out what's going on. You know, Trump, there's a thing that I call policy positions where, you know, you explain. I know it's very hard for you as, as your small IQ and your fucking supporters seem to think, oh yeah, if he says it, it must be true. The Mexicans, the rapists, the criminals, I assume some are good people. He was criticizing Hillary for her plan to fight ISIS. The motherfucker doesn't even have an attack plan on ISIS. He hasn't gone with anything. His reason? We, uh, we can't let them see. We can't let them see our strategy or else they're going to know how to defeat us with our strategy. Yeah, good job, numbnuts. That's a perfect way to get out of uh, having policy positions. 10 out of 10 job being a general election fucking candidate, Trump. Okay, not a Hillary. When she argued that crime went down after we stopped after we stopped doing stop and frisk. No, it didn't. Crime shootings actually went up a little bit. Now, true, they did go back down, but for a little bit, shootings went up. Dumb nuts. Would know this if you wouldn't try to go oppose every single thing Trump says. Wake up! Republicans are right about some things. Democrats are right about some things. Ooh, spooky. You gotta love this. So, I applaud Donald Trump on this one. This was Donald Trump's shining moment, for me anyway. Every time I'll be doing a, an impression of Trump, because, you know, why not? Oh, and over here, over here, Paul Bernie Sanders. He was cheated out of the primary race, because you colluded with the DNC and uh, Debbie Wasserman Schultz. And look what happened to her. By the way, yeah, look what happened to her. She stepped down as chairman, didn't get, like, fired or anything. She just stepped down, and now she's a part of Hillary Clinton's campaign committee. Oh yeah, yeah, really good, D really good job, DNC. Not like it was against election law or anything. Furthermore, Clinton should have been kicked from her fucking campaign trail in the first place. Not only was all Debbie Wasserman Schultz's fault, Hillary Clinton herself wanted to keep Bernie Sanders out. She knew he was right over her ties to Wall Street. She knew that if he could keep talking and running his mouth to people, which was which she did a damn good job of, that they would realize that he might be right. And that, hey, he might beat me. So, yeah, let's collude with each other so that uh, he can't win. Oh, yeah. Yeah, a uh, really good strategy. Really good at playing it fair. But back to what Trump was saying. When Trump mentioned, you know, Bernie Sanders and how he was pretty much cheated out of the race because Clinton's a cunt and so is Debbie. Uh, silence. Nothing. Absolutely nothing from her about it. Not defending it. Not even saying, well, we had well, we had our reasons, you know. Just zilch. Nothing. Nothing to defend her. So she was a helpless child in that instance. And for my final criticism of Clinton, the TPP and NAFTA and CAFTA. If you don't know what these are, these are trade deals. And basically they ship jobs out of the U.S. If you can't find anything wrong with that, then you're just fucking retarded. Literally, sh we are literally shipping jobs out of the U.S. Oh, Spencer, if uh, you don't like that, then Trump wants to get rid of the trade deals too. Why don't you just uh, support him, you know? Because he wants to get rid of the trade deals. Okay, here's the thing. Donald could have chosen at any fucking time, you know what, I'm not going to ship my jobs out to Turkey or China or Vietnam. We're going to make our products here in the U.S. His ties from his company are made in foreign countries where they're paid like 30 cents an hour. But I will at least give Trump the fact that he was able to smash Clinton on her support for TPP and NAFTA. Oh, well, uh, I believe my husband did a pretty good job of bringing jobs back in 1990. <laughs> Do you like me yet? Do you? Stop it. Just stop it. Now, she attempted to defend herself on supporting NAFTA and the TPP, However, in the process, she shit herself. Oh, well, I voted against CAFTA. Yeah. I, uh, I didn't like one of the five trade deals. Now you guys definitely have to like me. And I, uh, I definitely don't like the TPP, even though I pushed for it 45 times. Oh, yeah, no. Uh, TPP is definitely bad. Bitch, shut the fuck up. We know you want the TPP. I mean, it's only, like, uh, very obvious. Maybe she actually did change your opinion. I don't know, but it just seems fishy. How after Bernie Sanders, this is another thing, Donald Trump decided to claim credit for her switching her position on the TPP. No, bitch. She wasn't worried about you at the time of the primaries in the beginning. She wasn't worried about you, bitch. She was worried about Bernie Sanders getting his message out to the people. You know what she did? Well, 
well, obviously Bernie Sanders gets in the millennial votes. If I uh, do the dab, uh, do the whip and the nay nay, and uh, say I don't like trade deals, then uh, maybe the millennials will vote for me. Huh? None of you still like me, huh? Just, oh my god. We could have had the most liked politician in the U.S. Instead, we had the least liked politicians. Congratulations, America. You played yourself. I am one salty motherfucker, aren't I?